Hello guys, uh, in my last video I showed you how to write a very very simple program on C++. It was absolute beginner's course for the C++. Now in this video, this is the follow up for the last video. And in this video I'm going to break down the same program into pieces and, and I, I'm going to show you what each and every part in, in that program means. Okay? So, uh, let's open up the command prompt as usual. There we go. Uh, there we go. We got there. Well, a minute. Okay, I got up. Not intended. Programming directory. Uh, there it is. There's the hello world.cpp that we wrote earlier. Uh, I'm gonna open up that in a notepad. Okay. All right. There we go. There's our program that we wrote. Now, okay. This is what we're gonna do today. I'm going to tell you what each and every one of these things here means. Okay. <sighs> to start with, let me just increase the font size so that everybody can see it clearly. This is obviously big. And this is just a breaking up of what is on this program. And in the next video, we'll be talking about data types, variables, and so on. It's going to get a lot more interesting from there when you actually start to write a program that actually does something very useful. Okay. I'm just going to remove the things that are unnecessary here okay as you can see um, the first line contains uh, has include IO stream now this one here this means that uh, everything that starts with a uh, has it is called something it is something called a preprocessor directive Okay, this is not something that uh, a C++ solely looks into it. No. The compiler sends it to something called a preprocessor. So what happens is that you can have expressions and different things that a preprocessor does before it actually starts to compile. It actually starts to compile the source code into a program okay and this is the first thing that is done when done this is the first step in compiling a C++ program is to interpret these preprocessor directive and a preprocessor directive is anything that starts with the has okay so here the preprocessor directive says that um, you know uh, it says include a file called IO stream here okay uh, so the IO stream is a standard library file for C++ so it will be using the IO stream file for this particular program so for here to interpret most of the thing this this file is required because things like uh, C out you know standard input output they are defined in this IO stream so we need to include that file with our little program for it to run successfully okay now the second thing here you can see is uh, and by the way we'll be using this part include IO stream a lot probably in each and every program that we'll be using in most of the example there's gonna gonna be this 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 particular line okay include IO stream in most of the examples so second thing you can see is it's using something called namespace std okay this all may sound very vague to you I'm just giving you a very uh, small idea of what this means but it will make a lot more sense later on when you start to get when you start to get good on programming okay just know what these things are right now and just breaking it apart so that you can understand or you can at least know what these are doing alright so 
what it happens is that you know all the all the elements that are there in the standard C++ library right they are declared with with what is called a namespace okay now a namespace in this case a namespace with the name std okay namespace is a type i mean a you know std has a type of namespace okay so what uh, so we are using uh, a namespace that is named std in this case now what what this part does is that uh, in order to access the functionality that we declare with this expression that will be using these entities okay so I know that sounded very rough but uh, uh, you know this line is very very frequent on C++, C++ and you'll get a very good idea on later on when you go to things like you know there, there will be things like struct uh, union and namespace is gonna be there and you know a lot of things classes you'll you'll understand those pretty well at that time now the next line here is uh, it starts with a double uh, backslash right this part is called a comment okay you can put comment anywhere in the program but it should start with this uh, double backslash what this does is uh, whatever you write after this it doesn't matter to the C++ compiler it's just for user to understand to make a program you know when you later on come back and have a look at this program um, without this comment it may look very very you know uh, gibberish uh, when you start to write a long program so these comments always help and it's a really good habit that you practice writing comment when you're writing a program because uh, there are gonna be time when you have to debug a big program later on that you wrote and you'll have no idea what you did earlier without the comments okay so next thing we have is uh, this part right here it says int main okay and let me add something here uh, real quick but we'll talk about that later on it says int main and it have a uh, two small parentheses right here and it's got the curly braces right anything inside this curly braces is called to be the body of int main function okay the int that is said right here it means that this main function this main and this braces it defines that main is a function okay just understand it like that for now main is a function okay and in it's gonna return the type integer okay you, you know integer integer does not have decimal places okay and in programming double they have decimal places float have decimal places if you need to declare something called like uh, double fl uh, float then they can carry decimal places but not the integers okay and main function always is integer okay it always returns an integer all right so this is how you declare a function in general okay int main small braces and the body will be contained in this curly braces okay and later on you will see that we can add a lot of stuff in this uh, small parentheses right here and uh, you know you can pass variables and so on but we'll get to that when you get into the variables and functions all right and those are functions classes those are the heart of uh, high level programming language because c++ is known to be a very good object oriented programming language and we'll talk about what object oriented means later on okay now as you can see in the next line it says c out uh, small smaller than smaller than inverted comma hello world blah 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 all right now what this is is that this one's this one here that is called a statement 
anything before the semicolon see out till the end of the semicolon that's called a statement okay a statement is a simple expression that can actually produce some effect that you can see okay that it can it may be that you cannot see those but it will produce some effect all other stuff over there if you write it or don't write it it's not going to do anything to the process but this is going to give you some effect okay it's the statements will will make a very big difference in the program logical logic wise okay if you don't have other other things on the program that might be uh, another error syntax we'll talk about types of error on programming language later on so now C out is the name of the standard output stream in C++ okay and the meaning of the entire statement is to insert a sequence of characters okay in this case is the hello world two exclamation marks okay S mm, that sequence of characters into the standard output stream okay which normally the normal standard output stream it normally corresponds to your uh, screen your terminal screen alright that wasn't hard now you know and you can probably notice the semicolon every statement have to end with the semicolon okay every statement have to end with the semicolon now normally we also do this return zero um, very important though it means that since it is a function of an integer right here as you can see main is a function so it will be returning an integer okay and so we are saying that return zero normally if main function is returning zero that means that everything went successfully there was no error no complications everything ran just fine okay that means return zero later on we'll see how you can return different numbers other than zero when you have you know program errors or something like that but um, if it is a function then it will return something okay and as you can see it is closed in this curly braces right here and this part is called the body of the main function and in C++ you can also write all of these stuff in just one single line you know uh, shouldn't uh, you know all this is starting from the main it can all be written just one single line you know uh, let me okay there we go you can write it all like okay just behaving weirdly all right uh, as you can see you can write a program like that and it's not going to give you any error whatsoever okay but you know i believe this is not a good practice to do it it makes to it makes to you know to see this program will be very very difficult doing like that so um or uh, I always prefer doing it this way you know and now you can also break the code I statement into different parts like that and it will also be working just fine okay it's not going to have any error at all now this is the breaking down of, of the given hello world program okay and um, and also oh yeah did I talk about the comments I talked about the comments in my last video it's just uh, that it starts with these two black backslash or you know you can also have a comment that it starts with a backslash and a streak and it can also be closed it should also be closed with a asterisk and a backslash okay that's like a pair all right uh, I talked about it in my other video you should uh, if you look into the other video you should have a good idea about what I'm talking about it's like that and that okay anything between these two it's all common okay it's not going to make any difference in the program at all 
um, you can put it always put it like that too no problem so yeah that's that's the basic of all the program uh, most of the C++ programming and that should be that should be it and now we'll be going through variables and data structure in my next video till then have a good one everybody